they say to us, it's written in your hadith that if you eat seven ajwa dates, nothing will come to you, no harm to you. So far, so good, it's written there. You see, first you have to understand that we have Arabic of the hadith. And that hadith which is mentioned is not about the faith, about the test of your faith. It is about a reason and the ingredients in the dates of Ajwa. Due to some ingredients and with the prayer and the blessing of God, it will not the things the devils and shayateen or magic or something, a, a disease or something, a poison will not hurt you or not harm you. But it is not testing providence. It's not that we are we are told or forced to do so. Or where Prophet says that these are the signs of my followers that the whosoever eats ajwa dates, nothing will come to him, no harm will come to him. This is not the case. This is a general hadith. And still it is in the hadith, not in Quran. Not in the word of God, it is the word of Prophet. And words of Prophet are under observation through the science of hadith. But still, if we take it, that hadith does not prove anything. It is the matter of your faith. It is the matter of your faith. You want to do it? Try it. There are thousand things in Islam we do it. But does not mean that this will happen exactly. We have many masnoon du'as where Prophet says you read it, nothing will come to you and nothing till in the morning, till in the evening. And in case if something happens, so what? What are you going to say? That Prophet ﷺ hadith ma'azallah was not correct? No. Because this is what Allah wants. That's it. When Allah wants something, He can bypass. There's no reason for that. That you uh, you not distrust the hadith. But your case is different. Your God is telling you Jesus is your God. And He is giving you the test. And the test he gave you, so potent, clear, succinct, tersely spoken, and equivocal, and equivocal, what is that? He said that these signs they shall follow. Who? My followers. These signs they shall follow, meaning these are mine if they have these signs. Prophet never said like this. Islam never gave test on these kind of reasonings. Islam gave the test on logic. This is Quran. Come, stand to reason. You have all those things in the books. This is the bookish world. We are not in the going into bookish world. We are going into practical world. So, without wasting further time, let's see. Analysis. I clear about the Ajwa dates. If any clever Christian comes to you after this video, tell him clearly. This is not our test of faith. This is not the test that Prophet tell us to do. He did not enforce it. He's not telling it is incumbent on you. It's not, he's not telling that you are forced as a part of your faith. No. It's a general command. And we have thousand ahadiths like that. But your case is very different.